So, my name is Micaiah, and I'm telling you the story of Great Heart and the Three Tests. It is a native Canadian folktale. So, once upon a time, there was, there was a boy being born. And there, at his birth, there were fairies. And they, and they said, this, this man will be very great when he grows up. He will do many things very great. And his mother bragged to everyone in the town, saying how great his, his, her son would be. Okay, so in the, in, the, in the kingdom, there was a princess, but her mother and father had died, and she needed to marry someone. So she put up three tests, and whoever could complete all three tests, she would marry. When Great Heart's mother heard of this, she, she said, this is the perfect time to have great, to show how, how great Great Heart is. And so Great Heart packed his stuff and set off. So as he was going, he saw, he saw a man with a scarlet sash on, tying rocks to his shoes. He looked at him and said, why are you tying rocks to your shoes? He said, well, my name is Scarlet Runner and I run much faster than the game I tried to catch. And, and, and when I try to run slower, I still cannot catch it. So I'm tying rocks to my shoes. So I can, I, I can run as fast as it, so I can catch it. He said, do you want to come with me? I am, go I am, going, to, um, I am going to the princess who, who um, has lost her mother and father. He said, yes, I shall. And so off they went until they, they found a man leaning over a lake and cupping water into his mouth. They laughed, they, they saw him and went <laughs> and was like, this, 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 he's just drinking water. But then he leaned down and started drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking into the whole lake. He drank it all. And they laughed, they, they laughed and laughed. He turned to them and said, why are you laughing? And he said, because you have drank in the whole lake. He says, well, I get very thirsty sometimes and can never quench my thirst. And, and so Greatheart said, would you like to come with us? We are going to the princess who has lost her mother and father. He said, I will. And so off they went again until they met another man looking straight into the air with a bow at his side. They went to him and said, why are you looking into the air? He said, I have shot my arrow up into the air and I'm waiting for it to come down. They said, why don't you come with us? We are going to the, we are going to the princess who has lost her mother and father to complete the three tests. He said, why not? I'll come. So off they went until they met another man who was on the ground with his hand cut to the ground. They went to him and he, and he shoved them. They, he, and then they asked, why are you lis listening to the ground? And he said, I can hear a rose far off growing in, in the ground. What is your name? He said, I am keen ears. Would you like to come with us? He said, yes. And so they went off. And by the way, the man who was very thirsty, his name was, his name was Man of Great Thirst, and the man with the bow, his name was <clears throat> Far Darter. So, off they went. And so they finally got to the castle. They said, he said to the guard, we would like to complete the three tests. The guard just laughed and said, you will never be able to complete them. But Great Heart stood his ground and said, we shall try. And so he let them in. The first test, if he, asked, if he failed it, he would be killed. The first test, there was a giant boulder blocking the sunlight from coming into the fair maiden's room. And, and Great Heart, so that was the first test. So Great Heart walked to the boulder and tripped on the pebble and face it onto the ground. He got up, walked to the boulder and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and push, but did not. He, could, he just couldn't. So then he said, please fairies, help me. And so he pushed and pushed her off down the hill where it crashed into millions of pieces. So Greyheart had completed the first test. Now the second test, his party had to eat much food and drink much water. They easily ate up the food because they were very hungry from their journey. But when Greyheart saw the barrels of water, he knew he was defeated. But man of great, great thirst put his hand on Greyheart's shoulder and said, do not worry, I'm starting to get thirsty again. And <laughs> one by one, he drank every 
single barrel of water till there was none left. And Great Heart had to complete the second test. Now the last test. Great Heart had to choose one person from his party to run a race against the Maiden's Runner. And, and so he chose Scarlet Runner, of course, because he was the fastest of them all. He would run faster than his game, of course. So they, they, they went to their starting positions and raced. So they went down the hill until they got to, the, until they got to a landing. And the Maiden's Runner said, why, do, why don't we just rest for a while? And then when we are well rested, we can get up and go. So they sat down and rested against the trees. But soon, Scarlet Runner was fast asleep. And then, and then when the Maiden's Runner saw this, he laughed, laughed and said to himself, how easy this was. Turned around and started running up, running back up the hill to the finish line. And when Greatheart saw that the Maiden's Runner was coming up, but not Scarlet Runner, he was very confused. So Keen Ears, the one who could hear very well, dropped to the ground and said, I can hear him snoring over there. And so Far Darter got out an arrow, pulled it back and shot. And and then it right smack on Scarlet Runner's nose. <laughs> Scarlet Runner got up with a, with, a, with a shout, grabbed the arrow and pulled it out. Seeing that, seeing that the Maiden's Runner was gone, he was very angry. He turned and ran and beat the Maiden's, beat the maiden's Runner in the race. And so, Great, Great Heart got married to the princess and became king. And, and all of his companions lived in the castle with great wealth. And they all lived happily ever, ever after. after.